and I'll shut it off straight away. So, good morning. Um, today is the first day we have an in-store HME live event and my glasses definitely need wipes. Wow. Um, Mitch Laddie playing, which is cool. I always say Mitch Laddie, it's Mitch. Um, and then I'm just going to see how it goes. But I've got to work all day. It's like just coming up half six. As you can hear the clicking on the clock. Um, and the event starts at six tonight. So I'm packed, I'm ready to go. Might as well throw this is in this video. So G Tom Mack, um, the guy who wrote Cry Little Sister under the name of um Gerald McMahon. Um I always get the G Tom Mack and G Tom Mack mixed around. Sorry. <laughs> um So last night I was on Facebook just trolling, like trying to get some sleep. Started watching John New Monica, I was like, mm-hmm. And um he posted the thing about the anniversary of the Lost Boys and how they're doing a um, new EP or revised version. He's, I've been following him for weeks for doing a music video. And I was like, look at that post. And I was like, I'm sure that's my vinyl downstairs. I'm literally sure. So I came downstairs and looked and I went, that's definitely my vinyl on the post. So I looked back over the messages I've been, <laughs> we've been talking for a few, <laughs> a couple of years now. And I looked back and I was like, yep, yeah, that's definitely my picture. So it's pretty cool for him to post that advertising the anniversary of Cry Little Sister um, but obviously it's been cropped down to that so and that's one of a kind that's signed by him and Tim and made by the amazing Hurricane Rain and it sits next to the amazing Billy Worth one the twins they're called yeah I just thought I'd throw this in this video it's totally random obviously this is going to be a better than nothing vlog about the day but yeah wow look at that like, if I was a vampire, I would have been absolutely dead there. Like, that is sun reflection. Right, start this day. Such a lovely day, which it's kind of like, ah, uh, but it's not until night, it's six o'clock. Top Gun's out last night as well, so. But fall, but gorgeous day. I mean, it's not even eight o'clock in the morning, and the bird's tweaking. <laughs> Let there be light. Oh man, did I just make the worst decision by going to Greg's this morning? I thought I'll get a bit of energy in this morning, have an omelette sandwich. Again, being a veggie, going like bacon, sausage, no, omelette, and uh, ketchup everywhere. I feel really sorry because I dropped it in the mall. Just a bit of ketchup, not the actual sandwich. But we're stuck in the queue for ages because a guy demanded his bacon. Well done. It's like you're not in a restaurant, mate. It's Greg's. You get what you're given. There's going better put brown sauce on there. I was like, right, okay. So that kind of guy is the same guy who turned around and was like, why is everyone standing there? We're in the queue, mate. Like, go out the exit. The same guy is just trying to turn around on the escalator because his mates realised this isn't Eldon Square. This is the Metro Centre. Eldon Square is on the other side of the river in Newcastle. We're in Gateshead. So I was just like, well, that's a great start of the day. For him, anyway. But I turned around on the escalator and I went, that just sums up that guy. That guy. So this is the before shot. This is where we want to try and play today. I mean, it's doable. So today sees the release of Simple Plans album. Def Leppard and Liam Gallagher's got an album out, but what's really cool about Simple Plan is when their first album came back out, years and years and years and years, when I had hair, came out, um, they were playing with Bone for Soup at Newcastle basement and um, I went to see them and he said oh yeah our album's out tomorrow America at that time was a Tuesday and England was a Monday and I was like no no your album came out today and he was like what and I got talking to them for ages and they were absolutely awesome haven't seen them since like but there you go just a bit of a shout out some some love for a simple plan but yeah everything's going well so far are you buying more again have you got any more copy to this are you spending more money nah bad Bad so haven't spent any money since you know when. Behind the camera is a man of mystery. Say something. Hello. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Guess who that is? Knew it. Def Leppard, innit? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? 
Nice appearance in the video. <laughs> Don't shake your head, mate. Well, it's just like I could have dropped it off for you. He's off ill and he comes in for Def Leppard. Die hard fans. I change the plan. That means I've got to move all them boxes. I remember to look at the camera and not the screen. You see, I'm amateur. This should be helping me move all these. A day off, mate. Light rent is a light my, my job is customer service 101. You're a mall rat. I'm your life down. You're a you made us look, haven't you? Oh, it's buttoned. <laughs> it's buttoned. <laughs> been here before when we've been downstairs and, and other places. It's the first time in here. We'll start this thing with a little cover. This thing by Fleetwood Mac. It's called Dreams. Watch your lungs. Watch your head now go. Now what you lost you. Behaving. Oh yes. Uh, as long as you're behaving. Where's your country at? I got a noise complaint. Why? Mitchell. Are you trashing my book this year? We're all watching Mitch pack his car. Like good Samaritans oh, armor. <laughs> Better than us doing it. I'm just waiting for Brit to finish now. Um, Casper, why did you order 2,000 tea bags again? Not good. Got to drive home yet. And it's still sunny. It's like the witching hour. So on go the glasses. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. So this will be the near the end of the video. Um, I don't think you'll have seen musk. So I'm going to keep Musk separate, so you've seen probably a few highlights of Mitch. While I was doing everything yesterday, I actually bought this. just want to get the shadow. It's blue. And so it's on the record player, so you can't see it. But uh, Daniel Davis, no idea. Can't what film it's from. Uh, Burning Witches Records, um, or the label that did The Descent recently. And we've got loads of their stuff in at work. And I just really, really like that front cover and uh, checked it out online and uh, really like the kind of music they're doing, like score music and just an obscure beat. Um, and I've opened it up and it's blue, so yeah, that's random he put in this video. Um, so Musk, um, I was over the moon when Mitch played Musk. Mitch played some of his covers and some of his original stuff, like paper in your pocket and that. It's always cool when Mitch pulls like, an old one out of the bag and you can see him like, it's always really cool when Mitch forgets his own music. Like he's got that many songs and like I'm like, how the f can you forget that 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 song, you know? And then, like he just adds a new twist on it as well. It's pretty cool. Um, it was awesome to see Glenn, Garfoot, Matty, um people just Brendan, Dirty Jesus as we call them, all just coming in and just mingling around and it was a nice little atmosphere, like but what was really cool about Musk and why Musk was 
push towards the video releases. One, it's from Wave of Illusion, which is Mitch's newest album, his solo project that he pretty much did on his own back in lockdown, um, which I'm really, really happy for it because I know Mitch has been trying for years and years. I can, I can think back to like a long time ago when Mitch had a song called No, and he was timple tampling about like, you know, like wanting to do more score kind of stuff. Um, so it's really awesome for him to do that and I think he accomplished a lot. I would love to see it on a bright cosmic pink vinyl, even one of their new vinyls where you can put the liquid in them. And there would be a wave of illusion. But I remember when I first heard Musk, I was in New Zealand at my dad's house. And I remember Musk playing in the background. There might be a cut with some footage, there might not be. But I remember basically going to Ham the Springs that in the a couple of days I heard that song and just being in the volcanic rock pools. Why that then that song was just stuck in my head, just keep din 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 musk. Yeah. If I had a lot more time as well, I think what I would have done is like went and made a weird concoction of cologne and then like spent the next week going around other shops, people I know from the mall, and like people come into the shops and just going, Oh smell us and give us a reaction like <laughs> Like what's that like? like so yeah, sorry. Check out my horrorcom video as well because that was a uh, shout out to my friend Carl um, when I uh, checked that story out about um, Goodwill Hunt. But yeah, that's kind of the ideas I was popping. But I'm just about to sit down and actually look at Musk itself, see if it's all right, and then look at this as a vlog as well, and then pull some stills and stuff like that. So I pretty much got in last night, went to bed, blinked, watched Joining Mnemonic. Finally, and then I got up this morning and I've been at work all day and it's just going up half an hour now and I've just started a cup of coffee. So hopefully it's all going. And then there's Mitch there. There's Mitch on that. So yeah, it's all happening. So yeah, random, cut the musk in New Zealand, cut the musk that. No idea of his outtakes, you know, just random. Welcome to Lonely Tree Entertainment, the home of randomness. But yeah, see you in the next part of the video. So I've just woke up. And now uh, my suitcase is still exploding. So yeah. And yeah, I got some theme music on. This is in my bedroom. And this is the first thing in the morning, this. Oh. I put my suitcase in the wrong place, like haven't I? <laughs> oh, right, what are we doing? There's an outtake for you. It's blue. The vinyl is blue. 